Howdy. Hi. Hey guys, how you going? Hello friends. What happens if I click wave? <laughs> Excellent, I waved at you. Um, okay. How are we friends? We going good? I'm just gonna share this to my Facebook page. Give me two seconds. Or I can't I figure out how to do this. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. How are we? Everyone come in, I've got Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Hello Herman and Wayne, how are you guys going? Hello, hello. Okay. Praise. I wish I could do this before I went live so I didn't have to waste everyone's time doing this every time. Okay, sweet. I think that's what. Where's everyone coming in from? Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Can always count on you, how are you? Dylan, you're great, awesome. Scott, Ash. <laughs> Shower session still makes me laugh. Good morning, Ash. How are you guys going? Hello from Croatia. Mark. I know it's become my thing. I was saying to you, I did a post last night talking about like how now when I sing in any other room in the house, like it's just really disappointing. So I just pretty much come up here and do like all my work and all my practice up here in the shower now. It's kind of become like my little office or the bathroom at least. I'm going good, thanks guys. Saturday morning here. This is the first week that things have started to reopen. So there's just like a good positive energy outside and it's a bright and sunny day today, as it is most days here. Um, hey from Thailand. Thanks for tuning in from Thailand. Awesome, awesome, Southern California. Cool, all right guys. I'm gonna go straight in with a song. Um, just a disclaimer, I feel like I may make a couple of mistakes today, reason being, well I usually make mistakes, but reason being particular today is because I was planning on doing this live stream tomorrow, Sunday, and then I found out that there's going to be this like massive storm tomorrow apparently, it's going to be like the worst storm that has hit Perth in like a decade they're saying, I don't know if that's going to be true, but I was like well I probably shouldn't do it then because it might be like you know, it would be dark and gloomy outside, it might be really loud if there's a storm going on. So, today was supposed to be my practice day for tomorrow, but that hasn't happened. So, forgive me, that's just me covering my tracks before I start. But, yeah, Adrian, I'm about to start singing. And no worries, Andrew, it was good chatting to you. Um, okay, so I'm going to go straight in with a new song. I wrote this like a month ago and it's still a work in progress, okay? So there's parts in it that I'm definitely going to change and stuff. So, But I just thought I would show you guys something that's like a work in progress. Um, this is a song I wrote about just being like meeting someone, being starstruck by that person, just like taken aback by someone. You know, you're like you're going about, you're living your life, you're doing fine and then someone walks into your life and you're like, who the frick are you? Like, where did you come from? Like, where, I, and they just like kind of take you aback. So I suppose like being blindsided by someone in a good way. So let me play you this fun little song. Dennis says it's been stormy here. That's a shame because it's spring. I imagine that um, in Georgia it's starting to get nice and summery as you guys are about to go into summer and I'm about to go into winter. Uh, all right. Anyway, new song. Tell me what you think.
Wow, on the gram, how are you guys going? Tuning in from all sorts of places, which is cool. Um, you can just see lots of names. The highest it gets in Melbourne is 17 degrees. Andrew, I love Melbourne. It's a great city. I think everyone in Australia, I feel like Melbourne is probably our best city in Australia, but what stops people moving there is the cold. Like, oh, it just feels like it's winter all year round, you know? Um, but great city, one of my favorite cities to visit for sure. Over here. All right, what's happening over here? Was wondering when you would be back. Yeah, so um, I haven't done one of these in a fortnight, which I kind of like because it just gives me time to to work on my own music and stuff. And then I don't know. It's I feel I just feel like it's better for everyone if they're not like too frequent and things are starting to kind of get back a little bit to normal. So then you have I suppose like I feel like more distractions are going to now come into my life and. I might not have as much time to do them as frequently, but I usually you guys say what have you been up to and I just say I've been up to music, which is a really boring answer. So I thought about what I actually have been up to. <laughs> Marco's like, the acoustics. Yeah, that's why I'm in here. The acoustics, the acoustics. It's just like so much natural reverb delay going on. I don't actually know how it sounds for you guys. It probably sounds like, I hope it doesn't sound like too chaotic and too echoey for you guys, but it makes me feel comfortable. Um, I keep losing my train of thoughts. Good morning. What a beautiful day for a shower session. Excellent. It's 26 degrees here today. It's bright and sunny, uh, which I think is like 80 Fahrenheit. But tomorrow, like I said earlier, we're having like a massive storm. So the weather is just like being very moody. Um, yeah, okay, so what have I been up to in the past two weeks since I did my last live stream? I tinted my eyebrows for the very first time. Big deal for me. And it went well. I was worried. I thought it was going to be like I had like black permanent marker or like two black caterpillars on my face that actually came out really well. So I was stoked. That's riveting information. Um, and I... I'm on my way to discovering how to make the perfect cheeseburger. So that's been one of my quarantine goals along with making mojitos um, because I love McDonald's so much would be my last dying meal, hands down. Um, I wanted to figure out how to make like literally a McDonald's cheeseburger at home. So I've been working on that and that is coming along very well. Um, Scott says, I want to take some guitar lessons. Is it easy to learn? Um, yeah. Think about how many people out there play guitar, Scott. But with musical instruments, though, like, it's all about, like, persistence. Do you know what I mean? Like, you have to kind of commit to it because it's just so easy to give up. Like, it's crazy how many, like, secondhand musical instruments are on, like, Gumtree, which is, like, Craigslist or like, you know, secondhand websites because think about how many people like get gifted a musical instrument and they try it for like a couple of weeks and then they give up because they lose interest or they go, that's too hard. So like, I think it is easy to learn so long as you are committed to doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like committed to practicing for maybe like a half hour each day or it doesn't have to be each day. It could be a couple of times a week so that your, your muscle memory and everything is getting better. It's definitely, anyone can, you know, learn the guitar for sure. And the only, you don't have to, you know, you only need a couple of chords and you can start playing songs and singing songs, so definitely. Mark says, I just saw your burger video. Do you mean my, from my Instagram stories last week? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, Kelly, good night. I, I actually, I made this live stream like 15 minutes later than what I usually do, just because I'm like, the more time I can get to like wake up my morning voice, the better for me, but I'm also like worried that that's going to be too late for the people whose night time it is. Um, Will Scott says, we're going to have a storm soon, we've had glorious weather up to 77. Where are you from again, Will Goldsworthy? I hate that I have to refer to you guys as your usernames, sometimes I'll be like, who was it the other day? I was like, Gagnon7586. 
Turns out his name's Jason. I need to actually learn your first names because I feel rude calling you by your usernames. Um, most popular music, exactly. Marco says the most popular music is like three or four songs, three or four chords, which is so true. And I think like once you get to that stage where you start being able to play the chords and you put some together and then you like keep getting it, that's when it gets really fun. So get to that level, don't give up. Um, all right, I should play another song for you guys. Herman says, when do you think you'll be able to go on tour again? I don't, uh, like I don't really tour. Um, I go over to Nashville and that type of thing. Um, and I do play some shows. I do like obviously play a lot of shows in Perth and I go over east and do um, their country music stuff. But I, the biggest thing that I'm like waiting on is for those international borders to all open and back up so I can get back to Nashville. That's like at the moment what's like causing me grief. But it's fine, you know, we've got to do what everyone's got to do. But hopefully, I don't know, when do you guys think, if you had to take a bet, when do you think, I know no one knows, like literally no one knows this, but when do you think those international borders are going to open back up? There was an article that was trending the other day and it was saying like three years, which I call bullshit on, but like I think they were just trying to like stress everyone out and then everyone was sharing it and I was like, it's not going to be three years, I hope. Um, but I am feeling like they might open international borders back up in like February if I had to take a guess and that really hurts me. I, I want to, I feel like it also could be like November, but that's probably too soon. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Just curious. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, now I'm going to play some requests that you guys gave me the last time I did my live stream. Um, Andrew says, next term I think the borders will open, it depends when the footy season starts again. It's funny how like the football seasons or what like, it's, it feels like over here at our AFL, which is our Australian Football League, like they're calling a lot of the shots because they all want to play and it's like the world doesn't revolve around the football season. Um, Stephen says, August or September. Yes, Feb worst case scenario. I hope so. That's like so long as there isn't really like a second wave that's really bad, then Feb would be worst scenario. Okay. Um, one and a half years when there is a vaccine, says Mark. Oh, that's painful to hear. Hello from France. Thank you for tuning in from France. Okay, so this one was requested. Um, someone wanted some type of, you know, Lennon McCartney, so okay. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of Like, ah! and 
I don't particularly find that sound very flattering either, so I apologise. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice song. It feels like, it feels um, relevant as well with everything that's going on. Um, okay, this one, this next one that I'm going to do, I'm going to do another request. Um, I've been like playing this song non-stop for the past couple of weeks now and it is Jersey on the Wall, I'm Just Asking by Neil Towns. Does anyone know this song? I can't remember who requested it um, or if they're here, but I have just become obsessed with this song. Like it's such a beautiful song. The melody is so beautiful. The lyrics are incredible. Like I heard this and I was like, <laughs> Like, I wish I had written this, um, so I'll play it. It's just kind of, I suppose, tells stories of what happened, you know, to people in their life and just, like, wondering why and wondering, you know, if there's a God above, like, why, how, you know, just wanting to know. I started explaining. I'm just going to play the song. Cool. Some of you have heard of it.
Dennis in Georgia, USA, Darren in the UK, who cannot be here because it's like 2.30am, sometimes he tunes in, um, he's a legend. But anyway, you guys have been like so super supportive and you always are so generous and leave me tips and everything and you're too kind and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much for being regulars and there's a lot of other, like I keep saying, you know, Wayne and Herman and um, heaps of the mark, like heaps of you guys that continuously do tune in. So thank you guys all so much. Um, Dennis wrote my online tip details, so thank you for reminding me. I will plug myself now. If you like what you hear, no pressure, but if you would like to put something in my virtual tip jar, you are more than welcome to. Um, it is paypal.me slash emilyjoy music um but yeah thank you for being here feel free to share this as well it is all much as appreciated um now i want to see i know i heard marco say something about musical theater <laughs> um he said every musical theater singer ever what was it that in response to i can't remember what i said um maybe you want me to do something musical theater before I was doing country, contemporary country, I actually was doing musical theatre. Fun fact, I went down a huge musical theatre stage. I, so I got into music playing violin. Um, my parents forced me and my siblings to all learn a musical instrument as kids. They said that we had to at least do it throughout primary school and then when we got to high school we could choose if we wanted to continue on with it or not. So I was put into violin lessons and I did them and then I got to the last year of primary school and I decided to continue it just because I actually really enjoyed just being a part of like the music community at my school and playing in like the string ensembles and orchestra like it was where a lot of my friends were as well. Um, well, not my friends in my year group, but I had made a lot of friends there. And I, around year six as well, I was like, I really love singing. I asked my mom if I could do singing lessons. So I was doing violin, I was doing singing lessons. And then I got into drama at school and I just like loved acting and everything. So I was like, okay, well, I, I think I can sing, I hope. I, hope. Um, I can, and I like acting, so I should look into musical theatre. So then I went down that like, that's a huge rabbit hole to go down. And I couldn't dance though. I still can't dance, can't dance to save myself, unfortunately. So I can't, I wasn't that triple threat that I wanted to be. But um, yeah, I, I do enjoy musical theater. But I think that, I don't know, country music really kind of just like feels like home to me, you know? So yeah, everyone's got their got their like things, you know, they they find their like niche and they find their home and everything like that. So that's how I ended up here. Okay, what did you say, Chris? We lost a couple of young footballers a year ago in a car crash and this song rings so true. Yeah, there's like lots of things in that song as well that really like ring true to me and that you just go like, how is that like how is that fair? Like people being taken like before their time like it, it just don't understand it definitely rings true to me when i like started trying to learn it i like kept tearing up um but yeah it's a beautiful song uh life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about dancing in the rain beautiful quote for a melody thank you um all right let me play you guys another song okay this one, I'm gonna do a new one. Like I said, these new ones are still like works in progress, so please bear with me. But this one is one that I wrote a couple of months ago, earlier this year, and I wrote it about, okay, girls can get labeled a lot of things, and girls can label other girls things. Like it's not nice at all, it can be really toxic, but you know, you might hear a girl being referred to as like, a home ripper or a slut, which are terms that I really don't agree with at all. But I was just kind of thinking about um, how girls get called things and how they, you might feel like, oh, like that type of girl, like you don't want to be around her, you don't want to hang around her, or like she's that type of girl, like that kind of like gossipy, bitchy type of thing. And I just thought I would write a song from 
that girl's point of view because maybe she isn't as bad as she seems or you know it's hard, hard to judge people when you don't know what's gone on in their life for them to get to that point type of thing so not that I agree with bad actions but yeah anyway I'll play I'll just let I stop it explaining so I'm just gonna let this song speak for itself again like I say work in progress bear with me I also don't for a work in progress I should have lyrics in front of me but I don't so see how this goes okay been having a hard time staring myself in the eye when I look in the show 
And then she was like, I would love to send you a rock. And she has like, her garden is so magical. It's like filled with all of her rocks. She's very talented at it. And she sent me one and I was so excited to receive my little package from San Jose, California. And it's so pretty, like it's gorgeous. It's even like nicer in person Val. Like it's so cute. Thank you so much for sending that to me. You're way too sweet. Okay, um, thank you, Wayrick, I appreciate it. Again, I hate that I'm referring to you guys by your usernames. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Dennis, I appreciate that. And thank you, Mark. So that, that one's just called uh, That Girl. Yeah. Janus says, show me your shower. The thing is, like, my setup, I wonder if I can like, it's very intricate, like what I have going on here. I've got like a tripod going on, then I have like this stool stand, then I have like a DVD thing that's leading up to where you guys are on Instagram, and then I have like another Joby tripod. So I'm a bit like nervous to, to move anything. Um, the shower head is here. I'm sitting on like a little ledge. This is the shower tap. You don't, you don't need to see the shower. Um, but yeah. Um, Janice says, uh, did you see mine? Did I see your what mark? Tell me what you're talking about, mate. Um, thank you, Rex. That's it. We were chatting last night, weren't we, Rex? We um, are in Greenville, Ohio. Okay, feel free to send me your requests, guys, as well. Otherwise, I'm just gonna play what I wanna, I wanna play. Um, I'll do a, a cover. This song um, is a cool song. It's kind of a cool song. I'm just curious. Like this song was huge in Australia and New Zealand um, a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure it was really big everywhere, like internationally. But let me know for those of you who don't live in Australia and New Zealand if you know this song. I'm just curious. Um, Will you keep saying 2002, please? I have no idea what you mean when you say that. Can you please clarify? 2002, I'm trying to think of what you're talking about. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Oh, Mark. Yeah, I know I answered that. Cool.
Um, 2002 by Anne Marie. Sorry, I should have known that. Yeah. How does that song go again? I wish you could give me a little sing it for me so I can um, be reminded of how it went. That was like a huge, really popular song though. I should definitely look at that. Um, wonderful song. Do you sing any by Kelsey Ballerini? Asked SBD underscore 30. I sung Homecoming Queen by her on my last live stream. I could do a little bit of that again if you want to hear it. I actually filmed a cover of it that I'm probably going to upload this weekend. Um, but I'll do, it, I'll do a little bit of that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I'll keep it over here. I'm so bad, like I literally, I'll learn a song, I'll learn it, I'll practice it, I'll practice it, and then I'll forget it straight away. Um, oh yeah. Which one should I do? Ah, okay. Would you 
Sagrada. Visit 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future. Have a think, have a think. I know what one I would do. <laughs> um, tell me your answers. Personally, I would rather visit 100 years in the future just because like I'm obsessed with like like kind of like um technology tech, kind of like technological developments and like innovation like it trips me out to think about like how how far humans have come in the past 100 years like even last night I was talking to my dad and he was saying how you know when he was growing up as a kid and he's in his 60s so this is even 100 years ago but like you know, when they, they, he was one of five, he has five siblings, one of five, um, and they would all have like, have, have a bath, but they would have to share the water, like they wouldn't all be in the bath at the same time, but they'd like get in one after the other, um, and all pretty much be using the same water, and, and now like, look at what we've got, you know what I mean, like just complete endless running water however we want it. So I'm just like, and I think about the fact that like, you know, 15 years ago, I didn't even have like a mobile phone and now like I can't live without my mobile phone. So I'm just like always amazed by the advances and everything. So I would, I'd be a geek if I got to see like a hundred years into the future. Like that would be amazing. What do you guys think? What would you, <laughs> Dylan says definitely future. I wouldn't know what to do without the technology. It would also be like so incredibly interesting to go back, I love history, so it would be incredibly interesting to go back to 1920, what would that have been, that would have been after World War um, Mark says, Mark says 100 years in the future because I got bullied in the past. That sucks Mark, sorry to hear that. Um, it would be, yeah, amazing. Janu says, there is no future, the virus is going to kill us all. That is very optimistic on my live stream. Thank you. <laughs> um, what did you guys say over here? 100 years in the past, 100 years in the future. I'd rather visit 100 years in the future. Oh, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Tom wants to hear my song. Um future to see what it's like. I think we need the tardies for that. Lol, what do you mean? What does that mean, tardies? I think we need the tardies for that. Mark says the past. Daniel says the past. I would love a world without technology. Take me back to the stone age. It would be really interesting to, yeah, see a world without technology. Uh, that would be fascinating as well. Um, Technology is great because it just makes things like so simple and quick and easy for us, but then it also pulls us away from like living in the moment, doesn't it? Um, I feel like there would be a lot more board games going on without, without technology. Past. Mark says don't trust the future. Oh, got some conspiracy stuff going on here. Okay. I will play that song for you that you requested, Tom. So this is another one of my originals, um, and it's called um, How Do I Get Back? And pretty much it is about losing your way in life. Um, I've definitely like lost my way in life like um, a couple of times where I just feel like I've like hit rock bottom and that's been through those experiences where I've lost people. Um, like a relationship has come to an end or um, when my cousin died that was really really tough when I've been like depressed um, I've definitely like those times really stick out to me as times when I've just felt like so completely lost so that's where this song kind of comes from it's about loss and losing people or just feeling lost in general so I'm gonna play it for you guys I hope you in Enjoy it. Um, just quickly, I just want to see what he said. Um, who's traveling? Face it, Tyler. 
Doctor Who's time traveling spaceship TARDIS time and relative dimension space. Oh well, yeah, I love Doctor Who. I've never seen Doctor Who. Maybe I should watch it. Um, okay. How's this one go? Okay. I wish there was a rule book.
Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that, not gonna lie, and soaking up some sunshine before this storm hits. But yeah, okay, what should I end on? Choices, 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 choices. Thank you, thanks guys. Um, what, what should I end on? I don't know. Um, do you want to hear some Taylor Swift or do you want to hear another original? You guys tell me. Andrew says original. Will Goldsworthy says Shape of You. I need Luke to play that one for me. I, it's so frustrating because I like, I've got like a lot of cover songs in my arsenal, um, but I don't know all the guitar parts for them, so that's what I'm, I'm trying to learn. Um, this, yeah, I was, you know, going to be doing all my solo gigs and learning all the songs that I could play them on myself, and then COVID just like came and interrupted them. Although I can still obviously like learn at home, but it would have been good if I was doing like the gigs, three gigs every weekend because then the songs would be like getting stuck more in my brain. Um, someone says Taylor Swift, someone says a soul sister. Um, choices, choices, choices. I have done, Dylan says give me a shot or two. Ah, okay, great. <laughs> All right, I'll do like, how about I just do like a little bit of, of both of them. See like, Daniel, like I did Hey Sauce like a couple of weeks and like I feel like I've already forgotten it. So bad. Alright. So 
I will learn some Justin Bieber for you for the next live stream because I do play these songs out when I gig, but I'm just the singer, I'm not usually playing guitar on them. Um, okay, final song. Enjoy the rest of your day and yeah, I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys later.